now during the lockdown, um, what is the, the importance of continuing that service that you provide to the community? So, what the lockdown, before the lockdown, it was 150 children that we were feeding daily. And then with the lockdown, we saw this huge need. And having this need, and I saw this children, and then I said to Lucinda Evans, um, I don't know what am I going to do because the need is so huge. And I cannot chase a child away and say, listen, the food is up. So she said, my sister, don't worry, I've got you. And then this is where she brought um, Threadline Africa online. And they've on board and they've been donating. And, and then also with every day the need grew. Mm. And then I saw that there's an urge and it's a must that we have to do something about it. And that's when um, we've, um, what's the organization? Um, Unchained the Plane. So they came on board, so they're feeding two days a week and Redline Africa is feeding three days a week. That makes the five days for the week. Yeah. Um, we are on a total of 2,000 children and 987 elders. So the elderly, we don't feed off the streets, we do deliveries okay. after. Uh, so we've got seven feeding points within East Ridge okay. thus far. And what's the response been like from the community that you're doing this? I'm sure, because it's, it's nothing new for you to be doing this. Yeah, so... But especially during this time, and there's so many other people who is also doing it, but in your community, what is the response and, 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 and the support that you get from them? Like I the think community? the hugs and the tears will speak for itself. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's, we get a lot of hugs and a lot of tears, and I think that, for me... No words can describe that feeling and therefore I know that the community is grateful for what we are doing.